okay? <laughs> this is a freaking horror? <laughs> Going to- My first thought about seeing the announcement, You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Real quick, wait, wait up. Before I know, I know what the video is called, but I, I, I gotta show you something. Oh god, boy! Look at it. Is that like the sweetest thing ever? This isn't my genuine reaction, but it really is something really cool. Three million balloons. Heck yeah! She. Uh, that's probably really old by now. Before we get into the video, I just had to show this off. I've already opened it. <laughs> but YouTube sent me something really sweet. YouTube is being a sweetheart. I gotta go here to get a haircut. Guys, 10,000 likes and I'll go get a haircut. So the other day I got a knock on the door. It was like the day before yesterday. <laughs> that's how long I've had this. And this balloon guy, not an actual guy made out of balloons, but a guy with balloons came and it's like, do you know what this is for? So my wife and they said my name and he's like, okay. So they're being all confidential. But for the first time in my freaking life, other than the play buttons, uh, YouTube actually sent me something from YouTube Gaming. Well, I dropped my note. I just, I, I wanted to put this in video just to say thank you, just to, especially to my partner manager, because I'm, I'm almost certain this was uh, my partner manager, Ali, who is amazing, uh, is responsible for this. So thank you so freaking much. I'm so glad YouTube finally loves me. They sent me a YouTube jacket. It is so soft. Now, my name's not on it, but that's okay. It does say YouTube Gaming. At first, I was like, did they spell my name wrong? Because it says, I tell you, and that's just a brand. So now, like, maybe I could wear this around. People are going to be like, hey, does he work at YouTube? <laughs> so I thought that was pretty freaking cool. I mean, honestly, for me, the most special part is just the three million balloons. They had to contact probably someone in my area to give balloons. So that's just really sweet. I just want to say thank you, YouTube. You know, we've had bumps in the road. But it, it genuinely has been really awesome to just make videos on YouTube and, uh, you know, couldn't do this without YouTube. So I just want to thank you guys for just like, yeah, supporting me and obviously all the people are watching this. It's, it's very soft. And pants. And pants. That also say YouTube Gaming. That are very big. I look like I'm one of those weight loss commercials. <laughs> but I got pants now. I almost did a feet reveal. Oh, you don't get a feet reveal until like 10 million at least. You know, I always watch, uh, like... The big YouTubers like Corey Kenshin and PewDiePie and everyone, they always got these cool YouTube gifts, so... It's kind of a special thing to feel like you kind of made it, you know? It honestly just kind of feels like your boss finally s said something to you. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you know what I mean. So here's the note. They said, BG Mike, from all of us here at YouTube Gaming, congratulations on reaching 3 million scrub scribers. So, they personalized that. I know that was definitely from Ali right there. We couldn't be more proud. We'll be here cheering you on in the next 3 million. Yeah, so like, 3 million is an odd number, right? But, I mean, that was nice that they did something. Anyway, I wanted to make this video because even though I sort of already seen it, I wanted to do an in-depth dive on the new Dog and Rampa game. And also, I wanted to come here and brag and say that, guys, I am actually a prophet. Call me B you Mike the Prophet because I freaking predicted these things already. Let me direct you, okay? Not only if you guys seen me play Danganronpa, all the, you know, the Danganronpa games, you guys know how good I am for predicting things. I feel like there should be a compilation of all the times I freaking got everything right in Danganronpa. I got nothing wrong. That's not a lie. Allow me to direct- Would you, you leave? Leave me alone! Look at oh, I pressed this. Okay, look at now it's dark. I brought up this tweet from April 15th before any of this was revealed. I said, imagine that we get new DDLC content, another Dog and Rapa, and new My Chemical Romance music all in the same year. 2021 needs that. And already two, two of them are already right. As you guys know, we did the reaction of the new DDLC Plus, which by the way, I wanted to talk a little more about that. But also, the new Dog and Rapa's here. Monokuma is back. So I was watching the Nintendo Direct the other day or for the E3 press conference and all this and that. And out of nowhere, like, dang it, I see freaking Monokuma. I was like, what? But at the same time, I was like on the phone with my grandpa, so <laughs> I didn't really get to see it all like that well. So let's 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 react to this, okay? Do dang and rampa. I can't believe how right I was. Just need my chemical romance. We like I can't believe they haven't done this already. Testing, testing. Mic check! Dude, it's like they have my name. Dude, it's I think this is a message for me. Yeah, so like I was as soon as I seen this, I was like, oh what okay, they're just releasing all the games. 
Uh, so Decadence. Decadence. series are coming to Nintendo Switch. V3 and everything like that. So yeah, guys, go buy this. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game. Oh, I just want to go back. <laughs> can we just go back in time? Can we please go back in time so I can just relive Danganronpa again? Literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. Ooh, this is a bad so word on YouTube. <laughs> A body has been discovered. <laughs> those those were such a special moments on the channel for me. Just dog and Rafa. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mia? Kokichi, oh my god. They probably moved the body there. Soda. You've gathered to refute contradictions. I think more more impressive part is I'm able to actually remember their names. I don't know. It took me so long to remember everyone's names. But then. Ooh. Okay. This is a freaking horror. <laughs> this is a horror game. No, no, not Nagito again. <laughs> and he's shirtless. Ah! But like that one voice acting clip. Ah! Are you okay? <laughs> That's not how he said. Are you okay? What I want to know is okay. Okay, let me let's finish this. By the way, I'm sorry. I just had to talk about uh, shirtless Nagito. It's like the board game. Why? Donkey Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. It's freaking Mario Party. What? A standalone game. Donkin Rampa S Ultimate Summer. I, it's like everyone together. They even characters. brought people from Despair Girls here. That is, to me, the most surprising thing. I thought they would have just pretended that Despair Girls doesn't even, even exist, but yet they brought these characters the in this game as well. Will come I'm pretending like it don't exist. Resort. Who's the strongest of them all? Ron Taro, new. Oh my God. Uh. Okay, wait. We'll go back. We'll go back. The board game collection Donkin Rampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. All four games oh, yeah. will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. That's really, really cool, guys. If you have not watched me or played Danganronpa yourself, obviously go buy this. Like, go buy this. I always recommend that you guys go buy it. Like, I don't, like, when I play games on YouTube, I don't mean to, like, take away from the developers or the sales. Like, I just want you guys to play it. And then, like, I, I've, Danganronpa is, like, a really old game anyway, so I figured people would just watch it for my reaction. So, like, I highly suggest go support this. I think they, the physical, like, edition comes with, like, really cool stuff. I mean, just having physical editions of games is really cool to begin with. And you get to play it on the go. And there's a new game. My question now is, does it have voice acting? Is there voice acting? Because if there is, that's really exciting. Because, like, usually with these types of games, like, they kind of just bundle them in. You know, even, the, like, Danganronpa 1 through 3 has these, like, what, little side games, right? Danganronpa. This is gonna be interesting. Harmony has been expanded into a so it's like an RPG. So it's a little disappointing that there's not like a new new Danganronpa game, but it is new, but it's just not new new. Although it is gonna be a new story. I think people just want another excuse to jump back in here. Oh yeah, there's freaking, uh, what's his face's mom that showed up in Despair Girls. You know you wanna just buy this just to see freaking everyone shirtless? <laughs> Leon! <laughs> I, the CGs though, I wanna see this. Hey, oh my god. To see Sakura and freaking, oh my god, what's... To see Sakura and Akane in the same freaking uh, game and universe is really, really cool. So for that reason alone, I do, I would love to play this on the channel. Oh my god. What is she doing here? <laughs> Mikan, Sayaka! Dude, like all of my favorite characters except for her is, is here. Gonta! Ah, <laughs> uh, just for the, like, I, I gotta admit guys, I actually really want to, I really want to play this. I hope that this game, which I doubt they will, just because it seems like it's almost like a Smash Brothers of Danganronpa where they just basically bring every character and, and all the series into one. Is this going to be a mainline title or not? Because I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've seen the ending to V3, this could very well be like an actual thing because I can't, I can't get into it. But the ending of V3 really kind of, kind of, it really makes sense this, this could happen. And is this going to be like, is this going to be like a side thing or is it actually going to matter? Oh, I just really see he's running his bug stand. And will there be killing at any point? I doubt it. It seems like a fun thing, but I, I, I could be wrong. Decadence. What does decadence mean? All right. Decadence means moral or cultural decline as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure or luxury. What? It is now used to refer to a perceived decay in standards, morals, dignity, and religious faith, honor, discipline, or skill. 
Yeah, this sounds exactly like Danganronpa. There's no mortals in these games. Oh, I like how even they brought the Pepto-Bismol in the freaking uh, title. So that, to me, kind of suggests that it's possible that there could be killing. I know I'm really grasping at straws here, but, you know, we, we if we gotta pretend like we're Map Hat, we gotta make a whole theory out of this. Even though I've already played them, I wanna buy this just because, of the, like, it looks really cool. Danganronpa Ultimate Summer Camp, and here's... He's gonna ruin everything. Yeah, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna play this off as, like, it's gonna be, like, the new mainline title, because I really doubt that. It seems more like a side thing but if it has any parts in, in a new story or at least connecting to a new story I would be super excited for this <laughs> yeah I already see a lot of people simping over freaking uh, this image right here I'm definitely not at all there's I I I hate everything about this it's like they're redoing Danganronpa 2 basically like that I just I'm so excited to see Aoi again I'm excited to see Toko again I'll give any excuse just to go back <laughs> Maki is officially Jesus Christ what the heck how is she doing that <laughs> I'm predicting it right now the game's gonna be like all like weird and then at the end everything's just gonna go glitchy Brrr, something crazy is gonna happen what if oh what I, <laughs> I'm really speculating here what if think about it what if they like tease the new game at the end probably not <laughs> has anyone tweeted you about the hidden scenes in the games no well this image is so freaking crazy yeah so another thing that i wanted to talk about is that to be honest i i don't know if they'll let me play this on youtube i'm it's a little weird because uh i don't know if you guys know uh knew this but in like it was like a month or two ago or something like that that the japanese uh spike chunks off or i don't know the japanese website for like danganronpa tweeted like their guidelines for posting like videos on youtube and for some reason like they were very limited so like post the the you know the games on YouTube, and I was like I, I was kind of freaking out, and I think there was some sort of misunderstanding with that whole thing, uh, because it it was in Japanese and it was a Japanese thing, so I don't know if that only applied to Japan, but I do I am a little worried that if like they're gonna let people upload videos about this on YouTube, you know nothing's happened yet, but it's just something I am a little worried about. I don't know if they are changing their stance on that since now they're releasing all the the all the dog and rapa games on the switch you know it's kind of like you know revitalizing it i don't know if they're gonna be like let people do it so by all means like if it if it looks cool and uh worth playing then i would love to give it a shot that's if spike chunsoft will let me i actually messaged them on twitter but they didn't reply so that also makes me a little worried but i don't want to like make any, any assumptions i just think that maybe there might be a problem, but I don't know. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering if I'm gonna play it. Uh, yeah, like, again, I wanna highly encourage you guys to go get it yourself, but I, I will try to play it if I can, because it just looks really cool. I don't know, yeah, I hope they're gonna be cool about it, because, like, I, I don't, I hope they're not gonna take that stance where it's like, oh, ga a game's uploaded to YouTube, like, hurt them. If anything, I think the popularity has risen dramatically because of YouTube, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, I wanna talk, I wanna, take a look at a uh, freaking ddlc once again it's so funny that the, all these games are coming to nintendo switch that actually means that maybe in some universe it might be possible to get monokuma and monica and smash can we do that like this is so weird it's so weird so yeah you guys were tweeting me as well like right here bam remember i i, I was asking like you know because it's coming to the consoles how in the world is that gonna work with the files because we know that we have to go into the files but if you look right here, it looks like there's going to be some sort of computer desktop in the game because it says clearly right here, files, mail. Now I just, it just leaves me with more questions now. So is the PC version going to be also like this, have its own interface so where we don't actually have to go into the real files of the game? Or we just go into the files inside the game? That is something I really, really want to know. I just want to know more about the Book of Markov. And this quality is amazing, by the way. I'm assuming all the girls are going to have their own side story. So Yuri, I really want to know more about her. Look, she's holding the freaking book right there. And then, yeah, and I in my video, I didn't see this either. But Dan Savato tweeted this. Like, what? <laughs> are you trying to drive all the uh, fans wild with this? I can't, I, I just can't believe this is actually coming out this month. So there's gonna be some special moments between the Doki gals. I'm loving the memes people are posting about all of this. <laughs> Imagine seeing DDL Plus and Nintendo Direct. Yeah, dude, that, that Nintendo Direct was wild, even though like we wanted to see the new Switch, uh, what? HD or what, what? Everything's HD. Everyone thought that a new Switch was gonna come out and everyone was like extremely disappointed but it didn't happen. I just wanted to throw it out there. I was very disappointed by the Smash reveal since I wanted a certain character that was not the character they revealed. But there was another picture. I'm trying, I was trying to like see it. There was like, so like someone somehow found another picture and I need to find it. It was with Yuri and, uh, and Natsuki. I can't find it anywhere. Did it just get scrubbed from the internet? I saw it. It exists, I swear. As a monokin, this is a big sad. What? New content for DDLC. Monica's posture shrink. There obviously is a new art style, which is, you know, it's it's a little different. Like, 
I saw someone make a joke about uh, Natsuki. <laughs> I can't believe it took four years for Dan to feed Natsuki. Yeah, no, it's it's obvious. Like, if you really take a like a side by side look, yeah, it is a different art style. Like, everyone kind of looks bigger, you know. If I really were to pick the art style, I think I do prefer like this art style. But you know, I, I'm not gonna like make a big deal out of it. I'm just glad we're getting more and that's actually all I really care about. So it's a little different, but not like so different to where you can't recognize them or something. I'm sure they probably had to get new artists. Like, you know, it's whatever. I mean, after you played mods, you get used to seeing different art anyway. Me freaking out because Sayuri has longer hair. Man, you guys be picking apart every detail, huh? My first thought about seeing the announcement, you're as beautiful as the day I lost you. You can't delete me if I'm on a console. <laughs> Where is the art that I was, that I found though? Oh yeah, they even got some dog and Rapid meats from the new announcement. Everyone, what the freak does a fun and wholesome beach RPG game have an 18 plus rating? <laughs> Miyu. <laughs> he just chooses not to say anything. You're new here, aren't you? The world is a cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in the universe. The only constant is suffering. Minutes later. <laughs> oh my god, happy Ryoma and Mikan. Yeah, I kind of just- I do want to just look at it just for the fan service, yeah. Wait- <laughs> Uh, I know there's, there's no point to this freaking video other than just I wanted to talk about this stuff I think I don't know I personally have fun talking about this stuff So I think you might have fun watching me talk about it uh, Leave a comment down below guys as of right now. We are living in the best timeline I can't freaking wait like I just it's overload. It's an overload for me If my chemical romance does come out with new music, uh, you have to admit that I am the prophet and I will uh be charging lots of money for my information. All right, I pretty much said everything. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, everyone, for just for all the freaking support lately. And I can't wait to jump into these games, hopefully in the future, very soon. This month, actually, for DDLC, which is, I can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> bye, guys.